What's going on everybody? Charlie Dink Hunter here and today we're going to go over the Fish Donkey app. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the Fish Donkey app is, it's an app for iOS and Android that allows you to connect with anglers that may not necessarily be able to make your tournaments. So uh, you can download it, have your friends download it. They wind up uh, posting the length of the fish rather than the weight on a scale. You take a picture, it gets uploaded to the app and this way uh, you can run tournaments all around the world, different lakes and all that stuff, different time lengths. Maybe you want a whole week long tournament so everybody can get, on it, get involved. So that's it. Um, we're gonna learn everything that there is to know about the Fish Donkey app today. Let's get to it. All right, this is the Fish Donkey website. Just go on here, website login, go through that. And then it's going to come up to sign in, register, all this stuff. Just click on register, first name, I'll do, just type in whatever. Accept, register. Just that simple, that's all it takes. <clears throat> and then you are in. You can go to the live leaderboards. This is Fish Donkey Der uh, Derby 2020. It's all bodies of water. This one you'll see any Ohio. You just click on this. And it'll bring you to the tournament. Walleye, Grand Slam, Largest Bass, all the things that they have that you can access through that. Just go to my account. It'll tell you address and all that stuff. So if you do win a tournament and people want to send you things, you put your address in there. We'll go to terms and conditions, log out, all this stuff. Let's go back to the fish donkey beginning. You guys can see some things. You want to fish in a tournament, you just click on this. And then you can search for tournaments. So let's say... It comes up, boom, that comes up, click on it, and then you can join now. As you can see, it's $20. That's the one that we're running right now. Uh, so that's fishing a tournament. Let's say you want to set up a tournament. Just type in all this stuff, your tournament name. Let's say you want to make it uh, Hudson, body of water, and you can select exactly where you want that body of water, or if you want a bunch of different bodies of water, you can do the start time, the end time, for how long, and then the rules, regulations, and all that stuff. Go back to the start. If you look here in my account, at a bank account, host only. This is if you want to set up um, tournaments. You're going to need to open up a Stripe account in order to have that. So the money has somewhere to go after uh, people pay in. It's going to go to your Stripe account. So you just have to fill all this stuff out. You don't need the EIN number or business website. I just use the Facebook one and then uh, fill all this stuff out. Send and then you're good to go. And you'll get a Stripe account, which we'll go check out now. This is what the Stripe uh, online looks like. Uh, it's a lot of stuff. Basically, this is just a way to get money for a fish donkey to take money out of people's accounts. They're going to have to use this Stripe account just to get the money from them to you. So just a lot of stuff. I think this is used a lot for like uh, other companies and stuff like that. But if you go to balances, you can see there's no balance. Um, you can do payments and stuff like that to pay the people. There's a lot of uh, options on here connected to your Facebook, uh, payouts, top outs, all that stuff. So that's what that looks like. So, if you noticed in the Stripe account, there was no money actually in the account. Uh, what happens is Fish Donkey holds all of the money until the tournament is actually over, and then it will push the money to the Stripe account. 
And then the Stripe account, I don't remember exactly what the number is, but the Stripe account afterwards will send the money to you, but we'll keep a portion of it for, I think the last tournament I did, I think they kept it for like an extra four days. I think they do that just because they don't want people bouncing money around, maybe some illegal stuff, you know. But uh, just keep that in mind that the money is going to go to your account, it's going to look short, and then a couple days later, they're just going to put the rest of the money in there. Uh, another thing that we're going to have to talk about is when we set up a tournament, the fee that uh, Fish Donkey is going to place. Uh, Fish Donkey is going to charge you and it's also going to be a charge. So let's talk about that now. So the angler is going to have to pay $23 to get into the tournament. Uh, $3 is the Fish Donkey fee and then there is a $0.97 cent, um credit card charge for them to get onto the uh, Stripe account, for them to use their card. So when you set up a $20 tournament, it costs the angler $23 and you are only able to pay out uh, $19.03. So keep that in mind when you're setting up your tournaments and your prizes, that's what you're gonna be left with in order to use. So after you have your account all set up, you can go and start setting up your tournaments. First thing to note is that Fish Donkey only allows you to set up one free tournament. The free tournaments are awesome for people who don't know how to really work the measuring fish thing, taking pictures, how the app really works, all that stuff. So the Fish um, Donkey tournament that's free, awesome for those people. And it is a little bit uh, difficult to get used to to try to take the pictures, take the video, how to just get to use the app in general. So it's a good idea to set up that first free tournament, but keep in mind that you only get one free tournament and the rest are going to be charged. So this is the kind of app that you're looking for to just have like local tournaments you and your buddies set up for free just to kind of use the app. Probably not the app for you, You'd probably look for something else. But uh... So after you set up your tournament, you can just go up to the top portion where it says participants and you can see everybody who has been entered into your tournament, which is cool. There's a little box on top that um, if you hit it, you can text everybody that's in the tournament just to give them updates or information on how to uh, do whatever it is that you need them to do in the tournament or any news that are coming up. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, if you have any questions, the customer service, I use them a bunch of times. They are super helpful. They'll get back to you rather quickly and they'll show you or help you through anything that you need to do. Now we're just going to go through um, how to enter a fish into the Fish Donkey app. So let's check that out. All right, everybody, uh, I'm just going to do a little weigh in on the fish donkey app so you guys can see how it would work for the people who are um, actually fishing. So just go here, it says enter fish, it says as a host, but it would just say enter a fish. It's gonna bring up the camera, take the fish, put them down on the scale. This could be a little difficult sometimes because they wanna open up their mouth, but rules say mouth closed. So you just kind of push them up flatten the tail out take a picture and then I just take a picture of the tail real close up so people can see the actual size grab the fish take a video throw them back in hit stop and then all you have to do is just hit the check mark button. The screen will come up with the pictures, so you can zoom in on them if you want, just by clicking the picture. But the um, for the you as the host, you just have to go for the participant, go through, hit you, species, well, just smallmouth, and it should come up with a score based on what it thinks that you put in there and that's just over three quarters so i don't think that's quite 14 inches it looks like 14 hard to see on the gopro i'm sure but looks like we're gonna change that so you can just go in and change it to 13.75 hit done and then submit the fish there you go oh we got one all right now we're just going to go through how to verify fish for the anglers when you're running um, the tournament. 
just so you guys can see that. So let's check that out now. All right, just so we can see how to um, confirm a fish when you're running the tournament. This you can enter a fish as host, which we saw before. So I got two people here who have unconfirmed fish. So it'll see unverified, everybody else is verified. We pull it down, start over again. Go in here, all the fish will come up that he has, except for this one, which is unverified. So we're just gonna click on it. You see the picture of the fish with him. So now I know it says validation status valid. So I know that that fish was caught that day at that area that he said it was. You can see right here, take a look at the picture a little bit closer. You can see it's just over 17. Let's see the other picture. I can change the species if I had that, and I can change the unit. So let's say he was wrong or whatever, but he's not. So I'm just going to do that, done. And then all you have to do is hit confirm. And he's verified. Let's go up to the next guy. He's got one fish unverified. Look at the pictures just to see. It's about 19. He's got 18.75. Take another look at it just to make sure. Mm, that's looking more like 19 than it is 18.75. You can kind of zoom in. Oh no, that 19. This ruler is funny, so. That is 1875. Some videos on here you can put. So then just hit confirm. And he's verified. So that's how you verify fish as the um, tournament creator. All right, that's pretty much it for the Fish Donkey app. Uh, hopefully this information was helpful for you. I know I had a little trouble in the beginning trying to figure out this whole app, but uh, in the end, we really like it. And we're probably gonna use it a lot more often. It definitely helps to reach anglers who may not be able to fish with you every week and you can get different species and do a whole bunch of different things. So hopefully this video helped you in trying to figure out if you want to download the Fish Donkey app and if you already did, how to use it so uh, if it did help you just give me a thumbs up comment down below if it didn't help you just leave a comment down below why and uh, maybe i can throw some additional information in here just so everybody uh, is up to speed on how to use the app and hopefully this helps you out see you guys later